What's going on, YouTube? It's SC, a place to be chill, trying Mr. A and D. To give you guys a backlash review, this time we're not going live tonight because it was WrestleMania backlash, and I was just like, no, I'm, I'm, I'm not in the mood to go live right now. I'm dealing with a lot of other issues going on in my life right now. And I was like, no, we, I'm just going to do this so fast. But just for this one, I still plan on going back live for, I know NXT is having their takeover, and then for some fucking reason, Hell in a Cell is in June. But... I digress. Uh, joining me is my homies, man, my wrestling homies. Uh, not Dion Sands for Primetime. What's going on? It's me, the P-R-I-M-E. And my main man, the man, the myth, the, re the, the, man, the, myth, the reality, the revolutionary, q Flow for the rookie. You already know it's the FLO. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> he turned heel and got a new intro. He is, bro. <laughs> the, the, the man been blowing up, and you know what? I am very happy for him. I, I, I truly am, like, for the bottom of my heart. I've been playing with him a lot, but I'm very happy for him. I appreciate you. Yeah, the man, the man, the man he going he gonna to be something. I'm just proud to know that when he does become a big celebrity, I can say, hey, I knew that guy. And I'm going to be like, you're damn right he knew me. <laughs> so when people try to act like you don't know me, like, nah, he know me. <laughs> Hell yeah, he, he, he know of me. Um... All right, guys, so WrestleMania Backlash, obviously, is here. I only, coming in this thing, I only knew about four matches. I know, because I, I have not watched Raw, but I've been taking the primetime approach, and I was just like, yo, why am I even dealing with this? Yes, thank you. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I'm sure I, I was I was dealing with it, and I know it's going to be uh kind of news to probably Q, because I haven't, we haven't talked yet, but my mom been in the hospital. I did not know that. Yes, and... I just had, I just wasn't in the mood to deal with bullshit. To be honest with you, I wouldn't be in the mood either. Yeah, so I was just like, and especially after I tried to watch uh, that retro SmackDown that they had, and I'm like, this is Raw '93, but y'all got the classic SmackDown logo, but y'all got a digital fist. All oh, this is bad. And there was like, there's like no effort, and they, they stopped bringing back Taylor and now tag team matches. So yeah, or one on one matches for the Undertaker. Yeah, so I was like, no, I'm not doing that, and I said, no, I'm not watching Raw. So I, I really feel like the past two weeks, I have not been knowing what's going on. So, but I'm like, you know what, you know, I, I'll talk to you know Q after we, we, we hang up. He he inspired me to try to get back into certain things without even knowing it. So I'm just like, all right, oh so, wow. So we we gonna yeah. So I thank you for that. I, I'll explain afterwards. But I'm like, all right, okay. we, you know what. Let's get back into it. Let's do the let's do the work. So WrestleMania Backlash here. So like I said, I knew about four matches going into WrestleMania Backlash, but then I hear there's a lumberjack match between Damian Priest and the Miz, which I will get into. Uh, so, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I was like, oh, I forgot about the triple threat match with, with, with for the Raw Women's Championship, and they they do a pre-show match together because hey, where's Ricochet? We don't know. Oh, there he is. He's going to get Sheamus. So I didn't see the pre-show match. No, see, see you say that you say that sarcastically, but I dead ass was asking like, "Yo, where's Ricochet?" Yeah, because <laughs> yeah, and he's been on main event with uh, Ali. Who you know what Retribution wasn't nothing but the he, if you could fall further from Retribution, they, it clearly shows that they hate you. Yeah, but it's so weird because like. I'm not gonna lie. I watched it. They legit on main event doing like WrestleMania type matches. I don't. I don't understand what they're doing. I don't understand why they're on main event. But all right. Don't worry. Said you're gonna join them soon, and I still we still don't know where Keith Lee at. We still don't know where Keith Lee is. At. Where is Jesus? You're right. Yeah. So. I mean, he's he's fine. He would take a picture with me. Yeah, they get ready, get ready for the wedding. Be like, hey, um, uh, I still gotta work. And they try to get me in on Spanish. So it's, it's a lot of crap going on. All right, so let's start. We, we start off WrestleMania Backlash with the Raw Women's Championship. Triple threat. Rhea Ripley taking on Oscar, taking on Charlotte. This, to me, felt like the, the typical 2K triple threat. It's always the two women in the ring fighting when the other one got to do, do the rollout. So it, it was barely, you know, three of them in the ring at the same time. Charlotte still has the worst moonsault. In the, how does somebody that athletic have the worst moonsault in the business? 
I, I, I can't, I can't take it. You know, like when she does it to the outside, and she just does like a complete backflip and just like falls on her feet. And just, yeah, it lands looks, on her feet. It looks so sloppy, especially then when she do it in the ring. It look even worse. Like it ain't Io Shirai or nothing like that. Uh, there is a point on there where uh, she does a double natural selection to Oscar and Rhea Ripley and tries to get. I don't know if she she thought she was Roman Reigns by pinning both of them, but uh, that, that that wasn't happening. She ain't stack them. Like you know, like 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 uh, Roman did. Uh, the Rhea kicks Charlotte out. The ring gives Oscar the rip tie and retains the Raw Women's Championship. Uh, in the opening contest. So, how did y'all guys feel about the opening triple threat match? Well, you gonna start? I already knew. Oh. I already knew they was gonna have uh, Oscar take the pin. I don't like it. Why are we protecting Charlotte from Oscar? Oh, I knew that. for like three hundred days. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie though. Like I knew Oscar wasn't winning, but damn, if <laughs> them them last like that ending that that last bit of the match when she just went off like she was going off, I'm like shit. Is she is she going? Is they letting her win this? Like it had me questioning it for for a quick second. It, but it, yeah, I knew she was taking the pendle because it's Charlotte. Yeah, it? I'm like, why? I, I just hate I hate that method though because I'm like. Charlotte hasn't really did anything, but yeah, Oscar was a champ in like three hundred some days, and she's the one that had to take the pin from Charlotte, who's on vacation. Exactly, like, and honestly, it, it could have made Rhea Ripley look look, look even more uh, credible as a champion if she, you know, pinned Charlotte opposed to Oscar. Yeah, she got pinned by Charlotte last year at Mania. She had to lose again. It, it, exactly, like, like go, 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 get your heat back. But no, they didn't decide to. They wanted to pin Oscar again. Well, she already pinned Oscar at Mania because that's how she got the championship off of her. Yeah, I mean, then she pinned her on like Raw like, every week since then. Yeah, so I was like, so it, it's it's not credible. But yeah, I, I think maybe they're trying to build. Do you think we do Charlotte versus Rhea Ripley Hell in a Cell? Uh, no, I don't want to. I don't want any, any women in there this year. Oh, oh, yo, you. <laughs> They gonna beat her. I know, but I'm saying like, because if we do have one, it's gonna either be Bianca and Bailey. I don't want that, or it's gonna be Charlotte and and Rhea. I don't want that. So I'm like, just. Uh, so first of all, of it don't need to be in June in the first place. Well, yeah. What about Money in the Bank? What that June? I'm about to say yeah. Like, what happened to that? Because. And I'm like, so are y'all moving extreme rules down or what's going on? So whatever the case may be. So it looks like they can probably have money in the bank in July after Hell in the Cell because yeah, that's what you do. And then SummerSlam. Yeah, I don't like it, but I, okay. I don't either. I really don't either. Uh next match uh, we have uh tag team cha- tag team match for the SmackDown Tag Team Championships. The Mysterios taking on the Dirty Dogs. Backstage earlier before the show. Uh, we had the Dirty Dogs come on Dominic, beat him down, and throw a couch on him, basically. So, Mysterio's in the back, and the medicals, they says, well, you know, Dominic can't go out there tonight. I'm like, really? Oh, fine. They're, they're really going to do the, this angle right now? So, at first I was like, is Mysterio going to find another partner, or is he going to do this by himself? So, no, Mysterio's going to go out there and do this by himself. And as soon as I seen Mysterio going out there to take on Dolph Ziggler and Bobby Roode, by himself, I already knew they're gonna win the championships because they want to add as much sympathy this, on this. Match. This is how I knew. This is how I knew they was gonna win when they uttered the words "the first father son tag team champions." Once they said that, I was like, "All right." They've been doing this uh, before WrestleMania, though. They've been saying that. I haven't. I haven't been. Oh well, I haven't been keeping up to, uh, like like I should. So I didn't know. Yeah, because uh, everybody thought that they were gonna win it at Mania because they were putting so much emphasis on it. Nah, oh, see, I didn't know when I heard it tonight. I was like, yeah, nah, they're about to, they're about to take that. Yeah, that's how I was just like, oh, bro, ain't nothing, ain't, ain't nothing you can do about that. I was like, they, they, they're gonna win no matter what, no matter what scenario they try, they try to illustrate, they're going to win. So for for the first half of the match, because this match definitely went almost twenty minutes, it did not need to do that. But they had to build a story. So Mysterio is taking taking them on. Then here comes Dominic, who doesn't sell it very good. Comes back to the ring and try to get the tech from Mysterio. And I was like, oh, okay, fine. So Dominic comes in there, gets the hot tag, and then Mysterio goes back. 
and then he going against Robert Rude. Throw, throws him in the corner, hits the six one nine, and then uh, we get down to goes goes up for the frog splash, and the Mysterios become the first father son tag team champions. That's a thing. How is that? How is that like um, voidable? Because like they said, he was like, you know, he's not clear to compete. So like, how is that like? You know. I don't know. For first of all, if if you if you're gonna be not, I I one thing I don't like in wrestling, if you're gonna have a, a angle where they say this person is not uh, able to compete, have a legit beat down. You, you know how they how, in the in the Brian Pimple Dark Side of the Ring when Stone Cold said, "Yeah, you got a bad angle, <laughs> by lead to him stiff." I stomped the mud hole and walked it dry, and oh. Brian sold it. I was like. That's the kind of ass whooping you need. Then when they say, "Hey, he's not cleared to wrestle," you believe that shit. Nah, Stone Cold said, "I beat him for real and stumped a mud hole and for real." And it dry. <laughs> on, but I'm on, saying man. though, but you know, he made he he gave him a stiff ass whooping, and I'm like, you know, sometimes when you when you create angles like that, you got, you gotta give him a stiff ass. I was like, first of all, that couch ain't ain't touch him. And you know, saying he ba- he barely got beat. I'm like, bro, th- those are regular in match hits. So I'm like, you gotta be, you know, do something drastic to the point where uh, it be like this person cannot compete. Like if you if you if you pulmonize his ankle or his arm, or you know, what I'm saying, or you you hit him in the, in the stomach with like a steel pipe and stuff like that. There's there's different ways you can help illustrate the point. But they never have they, they haven't done any you know any good at wrestling at all. I didn't even miss the mark with that. And I hate when they do that and then it asks his questions like this. So he was just able to come back and just join in the match and he wasn't clear to do that. But you know, they're not going to do storytelling and tell him that. And besides, I didn't care for the the, the, the tiles to be on Ziggler and Root anyway. Yeah, well, Rey Mysterio and Dominic, man. Enjoy them belts while you can. I know because think about the Usos, they get their heads together, they're going to come take them, John. Mm-hmm. I'm telling you, it didn't happen at WrestleMania, but the SummerSlam match, if they're going to have a crowd, it need to be Uso Street Profits. That's what got to be. I ain't mad at that. That's that's the match I want to see, Uso's Street Profits. That ain't going to be the match that they going to have because they're going to they gonna, uh, be Mysterio and Dominic for the belts. So. Yeah, I mean, I mean they probably going to beat Mysterio and Dominic for the belts, and then the Street Profits are probably going to challenge the Usos. It's going to be a Us versus a fam all night. So that's what's going to be. <laughs> so I, I'm with it. Uh, next, first of all, why this was this a thing? We had a lumberjack match between Damian Priest and the Miz. Now, featuring. Featuring. featuring zombies. Batista's friends. So we, we got this Army of Dead movie coming out on Netflix. It was it next week or something like that? Uh, by Zack so. Snyder, and then it's supposed to be, you know, uh, so I'm not really into zombies. I told you that before, especially when The Walking Dead was hot. I'm not into them. I'm not into them. And then they really went out and got zombies to surround the, the ring as lumberjacks. I know, I see. I'm, mad. I'm I'm upset that they didn't. My, they didn't just do an all out thriller thing. I made it ridiculous. Why do not? You, do you think them people that they got as zombies? Either one, no thriller, or two, know how to dance to thriller. Yo, uh, come on, man! It's Michael Jackson. I'm, I'm, of course, they know thriller. Do they know the dance? Probably not. But it's Michael Jackson. Come on, now. You know how to dance? They how to do the, the, the first dance when you hold your arm to the side and you look the neck crank. You not do that at least. Bro, I no, I'm sorry. I I don't, I, I don't need a bunch of zombies doing thriller. We don't need zombies in the first place, so we, why we, not make it more ridiculous? Say, we don't. So we we had a summer jack match where both the both these guys were. It, it, I'm like, really? We're not gonna ask. We're not gonna ask no questions. David Priest is gonna be out there like, all right, well, there, there's zombies here, and the fact that they gotta sell it to the point like, man. We really don't want these zombies touching us, and the the, the fact of the matter is that zombies know how to be lumberjacks. So, sure, whatever the case may be, the match was boring to me. Uh, Morrison had had a time to be like, oh, wait a minute. We have zombies out here. These are useless people. Let's have Morrison show his parkour. So, he did a little parkour for both the steps. He was going up on the barricade to do something. And then uh, he gets grabbed down and dragged to 
behind the barricade. And David Priest uh hits his reckoning on the Miz, wins the matchup, and then he gets out of dodge of these zombies as the do- zombies literally just crawl on the Miz and it goes to black. That was terrible. That was terrible. Now, you know what? Maybe I have a different opinion. Q, what was your thoughts? I'm not going to lie. This match was forgettable. I forgot all that happened. <laughs> I'm very serious. I'm not trolling either. I forgot all of that happened. I remember the, like, I couldn't tell you. I couldn't tell you not a move that was thrown in this match. <laughs> Partly because I was at work during the whole pay-per-view, but still. How about you, Pry? Forgettable. Well, like I said, we gonna do it thoroughly. Might as well do it all the way. Don't just do half. The way. Well, since he did, since he did halfway, which is still unfortunate. Uh, your your thoughts on it? Waste of time, waste of energy, yeah, waste, waste of, of talent. I mean, let me let me just put it like this: Ian Priest is on the main roster. He's a quote unquote up and comer who's older than the person he's fighting. I mean, yeah, that's what we like to see up and comer do: fight zombies and you know stuff like that. Fantastic matches with Bad Bunny. I mean, I see a promising career for this young buck. I'm just saying. You know, this could have probably worked, and I'm I'm saying probably loosely, but this probably could have worked for Halloween Havoc on NXT. Yeah, kind of like yeah, that's what they had the screen. Yeah, yeah, kind of like you know with, with Camera Grounds and Dexter Loomis. And how they had the zombies running. It, it works for the, the environment. It's he was, May. He was in a, a match where they had the screen zombies, remember? Yeah. But right were now, it's it's whatever? May. We are nowhere near Halloween. And just to promote, this is like a cheap plug for the movie. I'm like, yo, Batista don't really need this plug from WWE right now. He don't. <laughs> Batista can promote this movie just as, far, as, as well from other places. The WWE fine. Just get the, get the little rub from him, from it. Sure, but it makes dumb look completely stupid. After this, well, yeah, that's about right. WWE looking stupid. About right. That's yes, it's about right. Next matchup for <laughs> the for the SmackDown Women's Championship: Bianca Belair takes on mm-hmm. Bailey. So, uh, you knew this is it's going to have to be a. Um, a tough, you know, she needed somebody le- le- legit to take on uh, because, they, first of all, I don't know where Sasha's at at the moment. We're so. back after, she come back after um, either the night of Hell in the Cell or after the, the SmackDown after. Well, I think I do think that it's going to be her and, be, and Bianca for the rematch at SummerSlam. Mm-hmm. But I think that she should win I'm the Money in the Bank. For, I, think, but I think Sasha win the Money in the Bank match first. That's why I thought it was going to be in June, and then you can build up to it, but I guess since they felt as though they probably can't nah, build for two months. I want somebody else to win money in the bank. Other than Sasha? Yeah. Okay, well, I'm, well like I said, we're not there just yet. But, all right, so uh, the, the, the match was fine. It, it was it was these kind of match. I, I, I did miss uh, a portion of the matchup, because I'm not going to lie. I did not, especially after, after the zombie thing. I was like, whoa. I don't blame you. Yeah, what what else going on? But uh, we we use more of the hair. I, I like now that Bailey is trying to use the hair towards a disadvantage. But Bianca Belair does take it, rolls up Bailey in the end after kicking out uh, Bailey to belly, and she like wraps her hair around the foot. It it kind of botched it a little bit, but because it looked like Bailey Bailey did kick out, but they counted three anyway, and they let Bianca Belair win. So this is probably a way to. Get them to face each other, but I do not want to see Bailey and Bianca Belair in no Hell in a Cell match. That wouldn't be the match because honestly, if 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 it was me, that's why I was like, why did they move Hell in a Cell to June? Because you could have had Bianca uh, Sasha win the main debate. She goes and goes and face Bianca at SummerSlam, and you could say some dirty stuff happens, whether either Sasha cheats. Or Bianca Cheese, and you can finish off the rivalry in Hell in a Cell the next mm-hmm. month. 
Yep. And you could have had Sasha versus Bianca in the Hell in a Cell. And that would have been from WrestleMania to September, a good storyline between them two. And then Bianca could, could wins the feud, and then we move on. And now it's just like y'all switch the pay per view for for whatever reason, and it's like I I don't know what their plans are going to be to do. But right now Bailey and, and Bianca they're both great, but they ain't the hell in the cell match. I mean, there's just no really no true heat there. And I'm not saying they're gonna put them in hell in the cell. They could probably have a regular uh, matchup, but I think I, that's like what's I said, gonna... I don't. Yeah, because they haven't done anything for them to get it to. If they just randomly give it to Charlotte or Rhea or. Y'all can Bailey. It's just not the same. It's, it's not, yeah. Ain't no story behind it, bro, bro. Is that so? How do you feel about uh, the match, Brian? Uh, I mean, Bianca won. We all knew that going into it. So I just hate when they have matches like these that you already know that who won't win. They only be trying to put no effort really behind it. But Fair. It How about you, Q Flow? Um, I thought it was a cool match. I wasn't, I wasn't mad at it. Yeah, it was a cool match. Uh, I mean, so yeah. did, it was did, cool. did, did the finish look botched to y'all or no? Um, I didn't, I didn't really see it as close. So I, I, I really didn't know that it was botched. Uh huh. Um. Um. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't, I don't know. I didn't know it was botched, so I didn't know way, uh, the way Bailey was playing it all. It was like, uh, did it actually like was it actually a botch or you know, I don't know? It's, oh, I, oh, it could have been planned. So who knows? Yeah. So well, that was uh, that match. So now we're moving on to uh, we, we get we're getting the main events out the way. So now it is now time for the triple threat match for the WWE Championship. Bobby Lashley taking on Drew McIntyre, taking on Braun Strowman. And every time I see Lashley come out with MVP, shows me how much I missed her business. But I gotta move on from that. Uh, hey, real quick, uh, what what happened to AJ and Omos? Ain't they like champs? Yeah, they are. And I was like, they they, they weren't even on this show. Okay. At all, this I'm not gonna lie. The, so the team is getting pretty forgettable because I damn sure was watching this, and I'm like, who got the raw tag type of skill? Oh yeah. You, yeah exactly. you know, honestly, AJ almost or Omos, excuse me, was fine. When they weren't a team, yeah, it was just AJ. Yeah, yeah it was just AJ like, and the manager, AJ and his bodyguard. It kind, it kind of reminded me of like Curtis Hughes back in the day, but better. See, I wish AJ. See, okay, for me knowing AJ, I wish AJ would have got a better person to do this with, because it could be sort of, sort of like an AJ Styles and Tomko type of thing. Okay, I know that. that would be that would be entertaining, but since. They got almost. It's like, yeah. okay. Like, it feels like AJ and like somebody, somebody bigger. I would like them as a team because you can have the AJ and uh, Tyson Tomko effect of you know the big guy, little guy, and they actually you know work together. Yeah, no, I, they ain't doing I, no tag team moves together. But except for AJ jumping off of almost shoulders. Exactly. Like, so yeah, we we, we don't. Yeah, it ain't the same dynamic anymore. Well, anyway, this match gets kicked off. Uh, everybody's brawling. Uh, D- Drew McIntyre and Bobby Lashley give uh, Lash uh, give Strowman a stalling suplex. Drew McIntyre with a cold belly, but he's a Lashley. We go to the outside. Strowman gets still steps his Lashley with him. Gets a Claymore kick over the barricade. Uh, then you know Lashley is his little thing run, running to, in, uh, with uh, the five and scare position to Drew McIntyre. And throw, it hit him on the turnbuckle uh, post. Go up the ramp, suplex on the steel to Drew McIntyre from Bobby Lashley. And they fight all the way up to the top. And then Drew McIntyre just takes Lashley and throws him through the stage. We start seeing the sparks animation and everything. And it uh, lo- looks like Drew is like is buying time. He's waiting for Strowman to get up there. Uh, you know the last time we seen that? Almost. With. Was Braun and uh, Lashley? Yeah, back when Heyman was doing the shows. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So Strowman gets up there, 
And then he takes McIntyre back to the ring, gives him a senton, which I don't ever want to see Strowman do a senton again. But sure, why not? Uh, Drew McIntyre shows an impressive feat of strength, gives him a uh, Strowman a, a Michinoku driver. I was like, oh, that that was kind of dope. I actually like that. Uh, then meanwhile, didn't know I, I, out of nowhere, literally. Uh, well, first of all, we go to the outside. Strowman does power bomb. Drew McIntyre through the announcers table, so we gotta get a we beautiful get, power bomb. Yes, he caught him, and, and, and yeah, yeah, hit him with the power bomb. Yeah, that was good. He go, he go back in the ring, and then uh, McIntyre hits a Claymore kick on Strowman, but then lash out of nowhere, gets the, the next McIntyre out the way, and spears Strowman, and wins the matchup and retains the WWE Championship, which Bobby should do. Uh, is go- should do it anyway. We need a Bobby Lashley run with the championship, but however, I still believe you know. After they t- they took apart, it's the time business, for new challenges, man. It's what? time for new challenges. It, it is. We got we got to get away from McIntyre <clears throat> and Strong. We need something fresh because they they've been doing this for a while. And you, you you need to build somebody up. That's what I was saying. Like, where's Keith Lee? If they don't do this SummerSlam match, I would be very upset. It's like. If it's, him and if, if it's any, if it's any time to do it, you so know sweet. what? I'm gonna agree with you that it's it's time for the him and Lesnar thing. But my my biggest issue is like they it's like they almost intentionally trying to make him lose steam when they took away the hurt business from him. And I still love the the thing of MVP and Lashley, but right now you know I, it's like I I was feeling Black Evolution. In a way, mm-hmm. and that 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 would have helped carry over a lot of things. But we do, we definitely do need new challengers because now, what Bobby gonna do at Hell in a Cell? Then what Bobby gonna do at Money in the Bank? And then you he'll know, fight, he'll fight Drew, he'll fight Drew again. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah, he like, dead ass lost to her business and got whatever bad boy P Diddy thing is going on on NXT. It, it, oh God, you talk about what you talk about with uh, Swerve. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I don't know what I don't know what's going on with that, but I was like, yeah, this is five coldest rappers of all time. Dylan, Dylan, Dylan. Yeah, this is this shit. This joint nutty. Uh, so yeah, he needs a f- fresh power. I don't want to see McIntyre uh challenge again. I don't want to see Braun challenge again. But they, they, but once again, do they give Hell in the Cell supposed to end the rivalry? So it's probably looking like it's going to be Drew and Lashy and Hell in the Cell. Yeah, because Drew had such a good one match, one of those matches last year for the championship with Orton. Is that even Orton and Lash is a fresher match? But he too busy doing RK Bro. I'm like, can't, why can't we just have a regular tag team? Uh, I don't know if I want that one actually. To be honest with you, I mean, well, I mean, it's it's, it's a fresher match. I, I said that. It is. It is. Yeah, you're right. It's a, it's a. I was not saying better match, but me personally, I was like, if you y'all could have brought back Keith Lee for remember Keith Lee was supposed to be in that United Championship match. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I really could have had Keith Lee for all that, so it's cool. Well, it's time for the main event, and it is for the Universal Championship. Cesaro taking on the Tribal Chief, Roman Reigns, and this is Cesaro's first singles match for the uh for for like Universal Championship, World Championship, or anything like that. So Which is a shame. It, it, it is a shame, but they they made a big deal. Uh. Jake Uso getting hyped in the back. Roman kind of had like, like, like to check him. Yo, man, get your mans, Q. Get your mans. I'm trying to tell you. Uh, Jimmy Uso ain't down for, you know, Jay Uso being his bitch. So I was just like, I don't know. What's going on with your Usos, bro? First of all, Jimmy with that blonde streak, bro? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Talk to him. <laughs> to, to, to talk to him, bro. I'm going to have to buy that shirt, though. Which one? Are they selling that shirt? Jimmy Boy, nobody, oh. nobody's bitch. Yeah, are they selling it? I don't think so. Just... No, it's uh, it's uh, yeah, pre pre order. Oh, okay. You got, I'm still waiting for my um, WrestleMania p- uh, plaques to come out. WrestleMania plaques? What are those? Oh, you know the like when they have a different picture, the piece of the ring and stuff like that for the WrestleMania. I'm trying to get you know, I'm trying to get my black ones. You know, I'm trying to get you know Apollo Cruz and Bianca Belair one. 
This is the ring that Apollo Crews and Biggie Lynch that beat each other up with sticks. <laughs> they got Hogan uh, Solomon. But anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so yeah. did, now, did this match, in my opinion, was the match of the night. Cesaro and Roman Reigns. And Cesaro pulled all the stops out in this matchup because it was his first singles match for, for the championship. And I, I, I enjoyed it. Like, Cesaro's pulled out all the new stuff. It, it reminded me of King, King of Wrestling Cesaro. Uh, it was one point where he did the springboard and did the whole Rey Mysterio 360 over the ropes. I thought that was dope. And mm -hmm. uh, I did like there was a, one point in the match where Roman caught him uh, with a Superman punch and he was going for his, you know, springboard 360 uppercut. I like mm -hmm. that. Even when Roman was going for the Superman punch, he, uh, Cesaro caught him with an uppercut as well. And I was like, these these guys got uh, some damn good chemistry. I'm, kinda, I'm actually kind of hoping that, that Cesaro's not, uh, not, not a one and done when it comes to Roman Reigns. I mean, it's Cesaro. It's like, I don't understand how they did not, haven't found out by now that he can like almost like anybody have a good match. I don't understand. Exactly. I, I'm saying the, the, man is, the man is gifted. And Cesaro doing that deadlift, superplex to Roman Reigns, back, back into the ring. Mm -hmm. Every time I see that, that is always impressive to me. I don't know how from his, his that one right hand. Hey, man, Mark Henry told us ahead of time Cesaro was yeah. one of the strongest. Yeah, that that one run he had in 2016 where he was like Jason Johnson and all that. I don't know how they didn't make that out of a run. And then when he was uh, bro, how did I make the Paul Heyman guy run in 2014? Uh, I, 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 could, I could understand how I could understand that because he was a face and Heyman was a heel and still with Brock. Yeah. That one I can understand. But then he had that run in 2016 when he come out and ripped the suit off. Then yes, you should capitalize they, on that one. Then it, they put him with Sheamus and then. Even when he was with Sheamus, he had that one, that one, uh, you know what I'm talking about. He, like, beat up everybody at one time. Yeah. No Day and Good Brothers and all that. Oh, yeah, I mean, yeah, I remember that. Yeah. yeah. The hot tag. How do you not, like, see something with him after that? I'm like, come on. All right. Because it's Vince. And I don't know what Vince is looking for in him, but it, it's Vince. Uh, But, once again, like, they, 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 they had... uh. A great match of Roman Reigns at the end applies his new uh his choke. Cesaro f was fighting out of it and moving his arm, and I thought it was about to, was about to get out of it, but then Roman locks the legs around and Cesaro passes out, and Roman Reigns retains Universal Championship. I thought there was gonna be USO shenanigans in here, but there really wasn't. It, it, they let him have a one on one matchup with uh Roman Reigns, which I thought was dope. But then we're not done so, because before you get into this, before you get into this, okay, we just praised Cesaro had a good match and all this. Yeah, and WWE said, nah, he needs to be Jabroni. He needs to be what? Jabroni. Oh yeah. Well, first look of all, like a, the biggest Jabroni. Because who comes out? 1984 comes out, and Seth Rollins with his white dripped in paint suit. <laughs> It looked looked like somebody really just you know had a white suit and just do buckets of paint on on the top of it and it's just like well it, style. So right. uh, he comes and stares down Roman Reigns, but then he goes and just injures Cesaro, takes a chair, and you know pilmanizes his arm with the chair and slams it against the ring post. So I don't know if they write Cesaro off or I, or maybe Seth Rollins and Cesaro gets the hell in the cell match. Mm, maybe we'll see. Well, guys, that was WrestleMania Backlash. So, y'all guys gotta give me thumbs up or thumbs down for WrestleMania Backlash for you guys. I think it automatically gets a thumbs up, down just for being called WrestleMania Backlash. <laughs> <laughs> okay, pettiness aside, I gave it a thumbs up. It was cool. Okay. I, now, when it comes to me, I'm gonna be honest here. Uh, the triple threat match started picking up at the end. Uh, Cesaro and Roman Reigns was the match of the night, obviously. And when it comes to that, that's all the stuff I re really remember because I was literally nodding through this show for for the majority the majority of it. And for 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 those reasons, I have to give it a slight thumbs down. And like I said, the, the stuff at the end started picking up, but then that lumberjack match killed any momentum. That it had, it, it had for me, and I, I, I'm mad that Bianca and Billy had to follow that 
The Raw Women's Triple Threat, I was like, oh, God, we're just going to protect Charlotte in this one for the most part. And that tag team matchup between the Mysterios and Rude and Ziggler did not need to be that long. It, 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 was, it was about seven minutes too long. So, for those reasons. But you guys have your own opinions, so you can post that in the comments down below. How did you guys enjoy WrestleMania Backlash? Uh, June 20th is the next pay-per-view. So, hopefully, uh, well, well, that's next WWE pay-per-view. There's a NXT in your house. And then there is Double or Nothing. So, I plan on, you know, getting motivated and getting uh, uh, back to being live with those pay-per-views around that time also. Uh, Palmer, are you, are you going to go to the Double or Nothing? Uh, yeah. Okay, because uh, I, 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 I was wondering if you were going to go or not. Because uh, cause I knew these guys, I was like, oh, we're going to do Stadium Stampede. I was like, well, why don't I just say Blood and Guts for it? Double? All right, fine. So. Yeah, I I kind of wish they would have did, like, um, they would have saved Stadium Stampede and the Blood and Guts and, like, kind of, well, well, never mind. I don't know if they do Blood and Guts in the middle of the field, but I guess they can't do that. So. Well, we, 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 we can talk about it later, but, uh, but that was our thing of WrestleMania Backlash. So make sure you guys like, subscribe, and share. Make sure you guys subscribe right here on MC Studios as I'm gonna try to get, get get back into get back into the swing of things. And for all your wrestling needs, come subscribe here. We do plan on going back to being live. Podcast is plan on I plan on recording them every Sunday. So, you know, stay tuned for all that great stuff. So once again, it's NCA Place to be Chun Chai Mr. Uh the man the myth, the reality, the revolutionary, Q Flow, Flow the Rookie. Alright, y'all, it's been real. Yeah. It, oh. <laughs> eh. <laughs> And that D.I. says a prime time. All right, dog. Oh, he was going to add on to it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And the Nerd Coalition is out.